difference would be the quality opposition that Castaneda has had. First round, buddy, and ready. Mark buddy Gomez ready. is stepping in easily, the most experienced fighter that he's gone up against. The southpaw is Castaneda. Mom, Mexican, born in Dallas, moved to Minnesota at the age of four. John said that he would uh, pay off his sister's student loans if he wins $100,000. That's a nice brother. And then he said he'd give the rest of the money to his mom so that she can pay off his brother's student loans. And he actually gave away his win bonus one time before in the Combate Americas Jaula. It's interesting what motivates each one of these individuals. And Castaneda is a, a very spectacular person, a great person, you can tell, and also an amazing fighter, trying to measure up his opponent, Gomez, here, looking to close the distance, but also being very careful from Gomez's dangerous straight punches. Jen Sturger standing by near the howl. What do you have, Jen? Hey, guys. So I talked to John's team, and they actually trained him. They actually train him for this warm-up cool-down of this tournament, and that's what's going to be helping him during these next few rounds. Good action here. It's three three-minute rounds. It's the semifinals. No elbows allowed here. Lufo's trying to change his, uh, his big stigma that they have in Spain because there's not a lot of MMA fighters and it's kind of a taboo thing over there in Spain. He would love to be the face of Spain, love to be the new face of Combate Americas, and I think with his fighting capabilities, he's, he's more than capable, actually, excuse me, of, of accomplishing that. MMA continues to grow around the world. Today we had seven different countries represented. I just reading some articles about him. In Spain, it's... Who? It was a blurb. Castaneda is a fighter who's bit well known in the world. Beautiful double leg by Castaneda. Trying to inch his way in the whole time. Gomez looking to land the right hand the all time, but, Go but Castaneda looking to get the takedown. Gets the double leg into the half guard and starting to control position here. And I think that with that being said, Gilbert, the biggest thing that you face in other countries is not getting to work with uh, you know, savvy people that are on the ground. You get some guy that goes over there, says he's a black belt, really a white belt, and yeah. teaching you this ground game in jiu-jitsu, but they're not as skilled. They don't get to rep as much with uh, these guys or the wrestlers like John Castaneda. His pedigree's been in wrestling his entire life, and so he can double-leg this kid at will whenever he wants, and I think that's going to be a big, huge factor here. Absolutely. People don't recognize uh, collegiate wrestling is an American-type sport. Olympic-style wrestling is... Uh, all takedowns and not groundwork. So Castaneda has that advantage, that collegiate wrestling, which is more of a grappling, groundwork type of uh, fighting style. But Gomez coming through with some punches, landing straight right and going for a takedown of his own. Gomez with some blood and some swelling around his right eye. Closing seconds of the opening round, scheduled for three, the semifinals of Copa Combate in Cancun. You need to win three fights. This is the second one of the night for John Castaneda and Mark Gomez. It's the semifinals of Copa Combate in Cancun, Mexico. Beto Duran, Juliana Pena, and Gilbert Melendez. John was ready to get out of there, out of the gate. <laughs> Jason had to be like, dude, turn around now. He put him back in the corner, and then he said, no, 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 turn around. Okay, now I'm ready for you. John's ready to go. Yeah, and the bell ring, and Castaneda immediately with the pressure. A lot more pressure than the first round. A barrage of punches immediately to the clinch. Uh, the first round is very competitive and close, but I can't really tell you who won. It looks like someone needs to try to run away with it and really sell something to the judges and prove that to the winner in these next two rounds. You sell me more, John Castaneda, if you got some uh, better head position on the other side of uh, Lufo's face. Absolutely. Sometimes you get your forehead in that temple, but then sometimes you keep your head on the other side to kind of trap your opponent in there. But I agree with Juliana, you could be more offensive with your head in the temple on the other side. Yeah, it's so uncomfortable when you're looking up at the lights stuck on the cage. <laughs> we did see Gomez land some heavy shots in his quarterfinal bout. Castaneda slips. He's right back to his stance as a southpaw. Lufo, the taller fighter, nice outside leg kick, but that's, that's uh, small potatoes. Yeah, Gomez has a very good straight right hand. That's what knocked down his opponent Alejandro in the first round. And he's trying to keep that comfortable distance. And if he can keep trying to land that straight right, he might have a chance to get back in this and follow up some heavy strikes. And uh, John Castaneda trying to work his way inside, trying to find his way inside so that he can get the takedown. But a uh, nice wide stance by Lufo. 
defends it well, and they're back into the clinch on the Jaula. And great job by Castaneda. I like this head movement, bobbing and weaving, looking for the punches, right opportunity to blitz in and go for the takedown. And again, we got a small Jaula, which increases the action, and that's what uh, Castaneda likes. He pushed, put pressure, and was able to get his opponent against the cage here. And yes, he might not be taking him down, but in my opinion, he's on opinion he's on the offense and winning here. And I have a feeling that Herzog's going to separate these guys. Gilbert, as a wrestler, you guys wrestle multiple times in a day, right? Yeah, very good point. You know, Castaneda is used to tournaments. Sometimes wrestling tournaments, you can have eight, nine matches in a weekend, five in one day. That's a very good point, Bethel. He might be used to this, but I'll tell you what, you're not getting punched in the dome. Girl. You're not getting kicked, and you're going to be a little bit more banged up. But yes, that does bring some interesting experience to the table. Because right now, this would be a question of conditioning also, right, Juliana? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, conditioning does play a huge factor as this in, in this competition, as well as, like we saw before, luck. Lucky that Ricky missed weight so that Marquin could step in. Second round of action. It's three three minute rounds in the semifinals with no elbows. And this is another round, kind of hard to figure out what the judges are gonna see, what they're gonna favor. And that third round is gonna be huge and pivotal as they're three minutes away. Going for a single leg, but nice wide stance by Lufo. And that'll do it for two. Gomez sat down as soon as he could. Third and final round. Yeah, that kind of plays a part in someone's head too. You know, when uh, your opponent's, you know, sitting there on the bench sucking gas and you're or sucking Wheaties, excuse me, and you're sitting there standing up tall. I've won fights like that. Absolutely, and then also just shows your mental toughness and you're playing the mental warfare. It all adds up. You got to convince yourself you're ready as well. Costaneta put a lot of time in. He's in great shape. But Gomez firing off some kicks and looking like he's going for a beautiful counter. Drops low, double leg, inside trip, nothing. Has the underhook, pressing him against the cage again, looking to go for the takedown. And Castaneda really needs to grind this out now because he cannot take Lufo down. Castaneda out of Minnesota Martial Arts Academy, head trainer Greg Nelson. So if he had his head on the other side of Lufo's face, he'd maybe be able to drop down to a single, then switch to a double. But he's not being able to do that because his face is on the opposite side, and he's not putting his head position where I would like it. And I agree. I think that would give him more offense. But keeping his head on that side, I think he's more concerned with keeping his opponent trapped against the cage. If he moves his head, it's going to allow him to circle out that direction. But I'd rather risk that and get some offense off and try to get him down. And the offense would be sw swooping down to that single leg, which is there all day once you have that head position, and then transitioning, get your chain wrestling on, and go into the double. Absolutely. If it doesn't work, then go back to the single. Pipe the single. Doesn't work, go back to the go back to the double. Absolutely. And Castaneda's showing he has some great chain wrestling. We'd like to see more of it. Go for the big, go big right here. Go for the big lift here. And you can't get a single leg with your head on the outside like that. You have to pick and choose. Get your head on the inside on that single leg if that's what you're trying to do. But he's he's getting desperate here. And there's a lot at stake for John Castaneda. He was actually uh, negotiating with the UFC and these guys keep fighting over each other. He was on that series contender, he won, and, and then we swooped him up right at that time because he didn't get cast after uh, winning fight of the night. So we swooped him back up here where he started. And uh, and so this is a big fight, it means a lot for him. And He's Gomez actually getting some momentum here. Wow. He's defending oh! the takedown, and now it lands a big strike. Was that a slip? Oh, another knee. beautiful knee! Two good knees from the Spaniard! And Castaneda said that too, that sometimes when he gets hit in the chin, it's because he doesn't have enough liquid in his brain because he had a bad weight cut. So you're wondering, ooh, those two were solid. Is that because, you know, he cut the weight or maybe it's because it's been a second fight of the night and he's tired and gassed? That yeah, was... just really going for the takedown now. And Gomez feeling the flow a little bit. He neutralized the takedown. It's time for him to go now, 20 seconds. He really needs to sell it. This is such a close fight. The There's first couple of rounds were close. Hard to figure out what the judges are looking for. The biggest shot of the night has been landed by the Spaniard. Mark Gomez with those knees. Will that be enough or will Castaneda have done enough? The final seconds of the semifinal. There it is. 100,000 on the line and that'll do it. It is the semifinal is done between John Castaneda and Mark Gomez in Cancun. Y ahora, damas y caballeros, después de tres asaltos, nos vamos a las serpientes de los jueces. And now, five fans, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Y todos de los jueces anotaron el mismo 29, 28.
Your winner by unanimous decision, El Ganador por decisión unánime, John Sexy Mexi Castañeda.